All right, hi folks, welcome to my terrible beginning Maltese uh, classes. Uh, well, uh, I'm a foreigner, as you probably noticed, um, and I have been learning Maltese for about two years now. And since there are nearly no resources online that teach you the basics, I uh, created a course on Memrise, which is linked in the description of this of this video. Uh, but I also decided that a course on Memrise, which is mostly focused on grammar, it's not going to be enough on its own if you want to start learning the language. So I decided to uh, do perhaps a series of short videos. We'll see how this goes, because I've just begun and I don't have any professional uh, equipment for recording, so please forgive me if the quality is not too good. But um, uh, let me just start by introducing you to to the basics that you cannot get from the memorize course like the first thing is uh, the pronunciation uh, i will be focusing mostly on english speakers and comparing it to english obviously uh, although english is not my native language either but uh, i think we'll manage um, and i want to start with the alphabet so uh, the Maltese alphabet is slightly different from the English alphabet. Uh, and uh, when you first see Maltese words, you probably uh, think this is something really, really hard to learn. But uh, the truth is that Maltese is much, much easier to learn than English in terms of pronunciation. Because there are very few exceptions. Almost everything is always read according to the rules. There are maybe only a couple of cases when things are pronounced differently. This is very unlike English where you have a lot of exceptions and where also um, the pronunciation of certain letters depends on other letters nearby. Simplest thing, Pacific Ocean, the sea. Pacific Ocean. You have three different pronunciation of the letter C. That does not happen in Maltese, all right? So, to calm you down, it's not gonna be that hard. So let's start. The Maltese alphabet. A. A. The letter A is pronounced as A, always, basically. So, and I won't be repeating that it's always the case. There will be some exceptions which I will talk about later, but... Uh, so, A is the first letter. Then we have B, which is letter B. B. Uh, then we have letter CH, which is a C with a little dot over it. Now, Maltese does not have a normal letter C. Every letter C in Maltese alphabet is always with a dot above it, unless you have, for example, a name which comes from uh, another mm, language, right? Like, for example, you could have a Maltese uh, last name, Grek, G-R-E-C-H. Now, that one does not have a dot over it, because it does not come from Maltese. So, uh, whenever you see the letter C without a dot abo above it, uh, it's either from a different language, uh, or somebody simply forgot to put the dot. So, we have CH. Then D, D, of course. Then E, E. Then F, F, of course. Then we have two versions of the letter G, which is J, which is a G with a little dot above it again, and G, which is a G without a dot. So when you see a dot, you pronounce J. When you don't see a dot, you pronounce G. Unless, again, somebody did not put the dot over it, which happens very often, especially on the internet, where people do not want to install Maltese keyboards and write without um, all the dots and all the special letters. All right. Now, the next letter is a compound letter. It looks like GH, uh, where the H has a, um, has a bar across it, right? Now, this... This is actually a single letter, the GH with the bar. It's called EIN, and 
it's not pronounced. Yep, it's a silent letter, unless in certain cases. Uh, if it appears uh, next to a regular H, then it is pronounced like a deep H, which we'll be talking about next. Um, and uh, when it's even in, even though it's not pronounced, it slightly enol elongates uh, the vowel that is next to it. It's always next to a vowel. There must be a vowel before it or a vowel after it. So, for example, like ein, which is G H A J N, you can hear that the A is prolongated. Ein. This actually means I. Um, there are cer certain cases where, when it modifies uh, the vowel, um, so the vowel is not pronounced the way that it should be, but these are special cases and I don't want to get into this because this is not very common. So let's focus on the basic alphabet. Then we have uh, the letter H without the bar across it, and this is called Akka and Surprise, it's not pronounced. It's pronounced just like uh, ein, which I forgot to mention. Uh, if it's at the end of the word, it's pronounced ha, like the letter H with, the, uh, with a dash. Uh, if it's at the end or if it's next to an ein, the akka and ein, if they, they are next to one another, they're both pronounced as ha. So you have like a double ha sound. But when they're on their own, and they're not the last letter, when they're at the beginning, where they're in the middle, they're not pronounced at all. And while the ein elongates the vowel, the akka does not. It does nothing. It basically as if it didn't exist. All right, next letter is the H with, um, with a bar across it, or a capital H with two bars, right? This is H. Mm, the difference between H and the H uh, in English is that um, it's more Arabic. It's, it comes from Semitic language, right? So it's deeper, it's more from your throat. But even if you pronounce it like a regular H, it will still be understood. So don't worry about this at the beginning. Then we have the letter I, which is E, which could be pronounced more like E or more like E. That depends, again, on a word, and this is probably the only difficulty in pronunciation in Maltese, because I still haven't figured out when, in which cases, uh, I pronounce it as, a, as an E, for example, el bir, and uh, when I pronounce it as an E, like, uh, I don't know at the moment, but, but it can be pronounced like this. Now, the next letter is another compound letter in Maltese language, which is IE. The combination IE is actually a single letter, even though it is written using two letters. But in the alphabet, it is treated as a single letter, and it is pronounced as a long E, which kind of goes towards a J. So it's like E, E. That's the sound that's that, that is usually associated with it. And the important thing is that when this thing is uh, mm, somewhere in the middle of a word, it is usually, almost always, I think, the accented vowel. So if you have this, you always put pressure on it when, uh, when uh, pronouncing it. Well, you couldn't have it otherwise because it's a very long letter, so automatically the accent happens there. All right, then we have a J which is pronounced Y. Then we have K, K, L, L, M, M, N, N, O, O, P, P, and a very difficult letter. Q in Maltese is a glottal stop. Uh, how, do, how to describe this? It's like you, you were choking, or, or you suddenly stop inhaling air. Uh, that's the way it's pronounced. Uh, example word, the word flower, which is uh, like the white flower, the one that you make bread out of. It is written D-Q-I-Q, -Q, and it's pronounced the E-A. Ah, you, 
can hear that sound. Um, well, if you're Scottish, or if you know Scottish, you know what a glottal stop is, because a double T in Scottish is exactly a glottal stop. So this is going to get some uh, some time to get used to. You're going to need some time to get used to it, but so it's probably the most difficult letter to pronounce in Maltese. And then we go on to R, which is R, uh, S, S, T, T, U, U, V, V, just like in English, W, which is W uh, in Maltese, just like in English again, X is pronounced SH, so that's um, like the SH in English, right? Not like X, unless, again, the word comes from another language, is not a native Maltese word, which can sometimes happen also with last names. For example, a very popular name, Akshisa, is Aksisa, right? It's not Ashisa, Aksisa. Strange for me, but well, uh, that's the way it is. And the last two letters of the alphabet, the two versions of the letter Z. Z with a dot, which is Z, and a Z without a dot, which is Tz. One thing you might have noticed in the Maltese alphabet, there is no Y. There is no letter Y in Maltese at all. Again, if you see a letter Y somewhere, it must be that the word comes from another language. And since, as you know, Maltese is a uh, language that has been constructed from many other languages and has a lot of uh, different bases, well, mostly a Semitic base, like around 60%, and a lot of Italian words and a lot of English words, but it's, it's still a very dynamic language. It's still uh, a, a lot of words are used uh, that come from, from other languages. So, well, that's the alphabet. So that's the basics. Um, now that you know this, you might want to try pronouncing uh, some simple things. For example, go on to my Memrise course and check it out and try to pronounce things there. Um, as I said, I have added some audio files there, so and I'm keep I'm, I'm adding more and more. So. Uh, I think my pronunciation is good enough to uh, to uh, to be an example for you. Of course, it's not going to be as perfect as uh, a native Maltese pronunciation, but I'm trying my best. So, mm. ah, what else can I say? Well, let's hope I have uh, the will and the <laughs> power to continue this and and the ideas to continue this this miniature course. If I do, uh, in next uh, parts, I would like to go through certain basics of grammar, because uh, I believe that when you learn the basics of grammar, it makes everything much easier. I mean, you can learn vocabulary on your own, you can search for uh, common expressions and learn those on your own, but you won't really get into the language until you actually start understanding how it works. Therefore, um, please treat this as, as an addition to the grammar basics, like the explanation of, of, uh, of all the stuff that you can find, uh, find in the Memorize course. All right, thank you very much, um, and uh, hopefully see you in the next video.